So here we got somebody here. Uh, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and what you're running for, or re you're running for re-election. Yeah, what I'm running so, for. Yeah, so yeah, tell us your name and what you're ru running for re-election for. Sure. My name is Josh Blake, and I am the incumbent, currently the county commissioner for District Five, which is the northernmost part of the uh, the five districts that we have. I have um, Umatilla, Astor, Fruitland Park, and Lady Lake, essentially, and then some a lot of unincorporated mm -hmm. areas. Uh, and so I'm running for re-election. I've been in there for four years, ran first in 2016 uh, against one of the tax hikes that had been recently enacted. And I'm running on the same platform I did before. I, I, I see my primary goal on the county commission as a representative of the taxpayer. And I want to keep the government out of everyone's wallet and out of everybody's hair. And I want to do it in two terms. I promised uh, to run on term limits and win or lose, this will be my last race. Okay. Are there any particular accomplishments you want to brag about that the... Uh you, you were Absolutely. able to get through? So my voting record uh, is one of the things I'm proudest of. I have voted against every budget. As you know, uh, unless a county or a municipality adopts what's called the rollback rate, there will be an increase in tax if your property value goes up. So I have advocated the rollback rate as a compromise position every year, and I voted against the eventual budget because it did not adopt that rollback rate, which means that there were tax increases. So I did that. I also um, advocated early on in my first term uh, getting rid of the business tax receipts, which is more commonly known as the local business tax. And we finally were able, with the help, unanimous help of the commission, we were finally able to get that accomplished this past March. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. I was at a city meeting one, and they were talking about, and they are showing their budget, and it looked like they still had the city business tax receipts on there as their forecast is it that they cities, don't aren't aware or? cities have have authority from the state legislature to levy their own business okay. tax receipts and and oftentimes they do do that not every city in lake county does that but um i remember when we tried to get rid of this when i worked in tallahassee we tried to get rid of this at the state level and uh you'd be surprised how many counties in florida do not levy it so i'm, I'm happy to say lake county has joined their ranks <laughs> uh, but we did that um i've I fought for uh, bringing the Second Amendment Sanctuary status, uh, county status, to Florida. We were the first county to do that, and if you don't know what that is, that essentially is you, you meet with your law enforcement, and in our case it's the sheriff, and you say, are you in favor of us declaring ourselves a Second Amendment Sanctuary, which means we're not going to enforce unconstitutional gun bans. Our sheriff agreed wholeheartedly, and it passed unanimously. So I'm very proud of that. We were able to deregulate um, in some small instances. When it comes to tree permits in the unincorporated areas, you don't have to go ask permission to remove a tree in your yard. And uh, when it comes to repairing your dock, we were able to get rid of that and uh, generally streamline the permitting process. And, and one thing we did as the economy has been in kind of disarray and it's hard to predict, is we did give the authority to the county manager to make rapid hires if there's a, a flux or an increase of permit applications, that he can hire people on without asking us permission. So then that is quicker, and you don't have to wait every two weeks to adjust to the demand. Uh, okay, why don't you wrap it up by, again, what's your name and what are you running for? Again, I'm Josh Blake, and I'm running for County Commission District 5. And uh, when I make a promise, I keep it, and I intend to do that for the next four years if, you're, if I'm fortunate enough to get elected. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Vance.